Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Troquendo channel. Now guys, we got the SS clone right here with us. And we actually came out here to Mondo's Paints to get the SS clone checked out. Now you guys seen us bought this truck not too long ago. We actually picked it up in the valley, 956. This thing looks good, rides good, and it sounds good, but it's not perfect. So that's why we're here to get some little imperfections fixed. Now this has an SS clone kit on it. I don't know who put it on. I don't know who did all the work on it, but there is little small details on it that we want to get fixed. And Mondo is the plug for the SS kits. Anything SS, you guys hit him up. He does all that stuff. So what better person to bring it to than him to get it checked out. And also some little things like the hood is not aligned all the way. The bumper sagging a little bit, some little scratches here and there. So we want to get all those things taken care of. Again, Mondo is a plug for that. So we're here to get that taken care of with him. If you guys seen the last SS clone that we had, the blue one, we actually made that, you know, we, we bought it as a stock 06 Serato and we made it into an SS clone and we actually got that kit from him. So like I said, guys, he's an SS clone kit plug hit him up single cabs extended cabs crew cabs all cabs he's got you he'll take care of you so let's go talk to him to see if he can check out the truck see what all he thinks it needs and we can get this thing looking a1 now, i don't know if we're gonna be dropping it off today he's a little bit busy but as long as he checks it out if he has room we'll squeeze it in if not we'll bring it back another day <laughs> that looks familiar you remember that way i'm Jacob, bro <laughs> the action. <laughs> Tell me an action, cuz. <laughs> Welcome to my humble oasis. We brought you the SS clone. We didn't unload it because we didn't know if you had room or not. Actually, I don't know if we're ever leaving today or not. Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Well, go check it out. Yeah. Well, there it is, Mando. Like we said over the phone, not everything's perfect. It's got some little details. But we know you're the SS plug. It's a lot of questionable <laughs> stuff. Questionable work? Yeah, the same. I don't know who did the work. I don't know. I don't know where I got that well, or anything. That's what that metal now. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. So, for lo que se mira, they molded the kit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was molded. And the way they molded it was the incorrect way. Gente pregunta, why you see rivets? Mm -hmm. Well, the main problem is when you mold, you don't use the proper adhesive to, to pop out to hold it so with time vibration mm -hmm. it's gonna go to the weakest point that's why you see all this little cracks mm -hmm. all this imperfections coming out well i mean because they put all the pressure or all the, the the weight of everything on just that little screw or yeah. rib or whatever whatever it is yeah whatever it is and the thing is even even so you repair it they still keep on popping out okay so you know, on situations like these, to be honest, it's just start from scratch. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> Don't tell us that, bro. No, I'm just being realistic. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, I could go and go back and, you know, do more body work yeah. and to make it look more beautiful. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't want this shit to come back or whatever, wins, or whatever happens with the truck or you yeah. have to decide to do a future giveaway for it. Yeah. I don't want the customer later on, hey, what's up, bro? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, want the, I want the customer to have, or whoever, or yeah, stay with it, to have a peace of mind, hey, this shit is done right. Yeah. So whenever you put the claddings, you're not supposed to put rivets? No. The rivets, a lot of people ask me when they see my claddings on with tornillos. The only reason I have that is to uh, just apply pressure for into the, the, into the uh, glue it cures. Once it's cured, I take it off. So they don't pop out? Then I fill it up with the same glue yeah. and body work. Yeah. And I'll fill it up all the way inside and then the inner wall, block it again, and then do my body work on top of all of that. So when there's shrinkage, like when the tempo, like everything shrinks, mm -hmm. so doors, you're gonna see those dip. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, you know, that's a, that's a proper way to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is not one. Because when the tempo vibration, yeah, yeah. you know, when you open and close the doors, and all that just, stuff. just when you ride in the truck, like everything just gonna be vibrating. So start from scratch. Not in all of them, not in all of it, to be honest. Yeah. Como en estos, you can get away with it por las razones because this doesn't no have much vibration comparison to the door. Okay. Because this is more like oh, solid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's more individual piece. Yeah. 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 more anchor points. Yeah. Okay. So, tiene más, más posibilidades que se está más fuerte. Sí, 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 so, sí. you got this, then the bottom, you got this. Oh, yeah. Then the brackets. Nope. No, no brackets. No, no then the brackets. So, that's the, another question too when people ask me when I mold the kits. Yes, the full practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, you provided the practice for yeah. us whenever we did the clone too. And yes. for the same reason, to eliminate putting practice. more stress on the kit. Yeah. Yes. So it serves the purpose. Like when it flexes, the mm -hmm. bracket is pretty much holding it without the actual kit flex. It's the most close and gap. It's the most abierto. Say. So the fender needs to be adjusted. The hood needs to go forward. And not only that, you record it and mold this shit together. Yeah. So you can even shift it. On the front one, the one that goes on the fender? Yeah. Thing is, you can't even move it. Oh, okay. Because they molded oh, okay. they mold the fender, the cap together. Yeah. If they would have done the gap perfectly on both sides, there's no issue. You yeah. know, you could fix it, but you have to take all this shit off, like completely off. And start from scratch. Just build another SS clone. <laughs> shit. Well, is this something you can take care of? You got the time to take care of it. Do you want to take care of it? <laughs> no, oh, it's supposed to be but it just, it's all depending on the time frame. Alright guys, there you guys have it. We came here to Mando so you can get the truck looked at. And obviously, it had a little bit more details than we anticipated. Uh, we want this thing to look A1. So, we're going to be bringing it back next week. So, he can, t he can remove the whole body kit and redo the whole thing. Pretty much starting from scratch. Y pedo, we want, like I said, we want this thing to look nice. So, if that's what we got to do, we got to do it. So, we're even going to leave it today. He's got, a lot, he's got a lot of work right now. The good thing, he's about, he's only like, what, 20 minutes away from us? Yeah, 20 minutes. He's not that far from us. So, we'll just bring it back next week. That way we have some time to kind of go over some other things on the truck and get some other things lined up. That way we can bring it to them as soon as we're done with the truck ourselves. Right now, we're actually going to Academy because we're going to go get a fishing license. Right, what? Se nos va a Fishing license? Fishing la license. We'll go do some deep sea fishing tomorrow. Yeah. We had talked about it before on the videos and we actually got some brave souls out there that want to go with us. Like Edgar. <laughs> hey, I'm just coming along for the beer, bro. As long as there's beer, I'm down. Shit. Making up the way? Out deep sea fishing and some beer. Uh, you're gonna get messed up. Te pones bien pedo y te caes del barco. Hijo de su pinche madre. My goal is to catch a hammerhead. You gonna catch a hammerhead? Hammerhead? Hammerhead. Shark. We're gonna be heading over to the Texas City Dyke. Probably going into the Galveston Bay a little bit. To. Well, no, we're actually gonna head over to the Galveston Bay from there. Yeah. And go deep sea fishing. Go fish, see what we can catch, and uh, see what we bring back. So if you guys want to watch that content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell notifications because we are going to be showing a new product that we're going to be releasing on that video. The product is it's a badass new straw hats that we're bringing out for Troqueando. They're going to be available on the website pretty soon. So if you guys want to check them out, get a glimpse of how they look, make sure you check out that video. 
I'm gonna be wearing one, Edgar's gonna be wearing one, and the whole collection is gonna be dropping pretty soon on the website, all right? So, Trocano.com, that's where they're gonna be available. And that's some badass straw hats, guys. It's got the logo, it's got the print, it's, it's it looks badass. So, I'm excited to get those things out there. You guys are gonna like them. Y pues, vamos a andar with pinche badass straw hat. I need to get a, I need to get a long sleeve. You already have a small, long sleeve? Yeah, I already got one. You need a long sleeve. Um, Straw hats, we're gonna be using the face mask también. Mm -hmm. And get everything ready. I'm excited about the deep sea fish. That'd be fun. No, G's not going tomorrow. He said he was scared of the water. So he's not gonna go with us. But it's gonna be me, Edgar, El Cuz, Alex, uh, Jonathan is going with us, and my boy Chuy. So There's gonna be five of us, plus the captain going out there fishing. Hopefully, none of these niggas fall. That <laughs> bailout. <laughs> of license yeah of license we ended up, we wanted to get a one day pass for the license but it was an extra 30 bucks to get it for the whole year i don't know if we like it we might come back or go back fish somewhere else and it was all waters too right so we do yeah, salt water and water, fresh water. Fresh and salt water yeah lake houston is not that far from us so if it's fun i think chewy goes fishing often right boy goes every fucking day dude every day yeah, yeah, yeah. so we might join chewy and some fishing yeah, yeah. Maybe we can uh, get the jet skis and go out some jet ski riding and fishing at the same time. We'll give 500 bucks whoever catches the biggest fish tomorrow. No one knows. I think I'm going to tell them tomorrow morning. We'll surprise them. Surprise them. Whoever catches the biggest fish, 500 bucks. Fuck it. I better get that fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so we came to utility. What is it? trailers? Utility trailers. Utility trailers because we're going to get a little D ring for the trailer for these straps. When we're coming back from the valley, we actually, one of these came loose and it was just dangling over and, and the truck got loose and it's pretty dangerous. So uh, since we kind of removed the little shield that I had here, so we had more room to strap this from the bottom. Now we need some new anchor points. And as you can see, check it out. <clears throat> it's almost already coming off. So the plan is to kind of get some D, D hooks like the ones that are over there. Those, but maybe have them like welded here or mounted here or here on both sides so we can strap it and then the straps are straight the thing is since we be loading up these low ass trucks the only good way to uh, strap them down is like from the suspension from the bottom and the strap need to be straight so i can't get, i can't hook it up from here uh because it's gonna be too short so we're gonna go that route no, it's muy grande, yeah. muy grande. I think it's okay. yeah. this half inch i think that'd be perfect yeah, because the hook is like this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't care. That should be fine. Yeah. See, I thought it was a whole, I thought it was a whole, uh, like loop. Loop, yeah. yeah. Just put them on there, weld them. Ah, right, papita, put them right here. See, no? Yeah. Unless we put them right here, but. Well, maybe like more towards the top where the strap is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because. Oh, yeah, because that's the flat. Flat like this, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that way we can just grab it straight that way. Yeah, because guys, we were struggling. Well, I had the little brace right here, or the little, uh, what do you call it? Like the little shield? The shield. It was about this high. We almost took the bumper on what? The clone? This is the Blue SS clone, TKOG3. Yeah, the bumper. The bumper almost came off because we got too close to it. And then my white truck on airbags, you can't. It just, it just hits. So we got rid of it. And at the same time, we were struggling to strap these trucks because we only had this much space. So we're just gonna put these on, weld them, paint them, that way they're good, and we should be good to go. Yeah. This trailer has been really good to us so far. There we go. Fuga, I think we're gonna go that way, wait, because those pinches vatos on them. That nigga's looking at them. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. And that truck. That truck. Holy shit, wait. That's how hot it is here in Houston, guys. 
102 and climbing. And it's only three o'clock. Well, it's the peak, it's the peak time right now. <laughs> but even the grass caught on fire. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the shop. There you guys have it. This thing looks really, really clean, but it has a lot of small little imperfections. One being all the body kit that they did on it. They didn't do as good as a job as we would have hoped for. So we're just gonna start fresh from it. Well, actually, not thinking about it. Should we wrap it? We can, that's a possibility. If he's gonna do all the body work, I don't know. We're basically redoing the whole thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll shoot the idea. What you guys think? Should we wrap it or repaint it black? I like the black, I like the black paint. If we wrap it, we'll have to try to see what color will look good on it. Yeah. I would hate to wrap it black. I just paint it black. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the plan, guys. This thing is gonna be going under the under the knife here pretty soon. Mine's gonna be doing this thing, and we're gonna make sure it looks all good. And then we're also gonna be taking it to get the interior done and some things here and there as well. So it's not too bad, but it does have some tears and rips on the seat, so we gotta take care of that. But there it is, guys. So. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you turn on the bell notifications because we're gonna be dropping a very exciting video of us going fishing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And for those guys that have stayed to the end of the video, I'll be doing a little promo code for you guys. For those guys that stayed all the way to the end, all right? For the first, what, we're, go, we're close to 10,000. Say 10, 10, yeah. 10 people? 10 people. For the first 10 people to use this promo code right here on the screen, Wanna do what you want? What you wanna put, Hazard? Fuck. I don't know. Fuck? I can't do that. <laughs> fuck fuck I don't know. <laughs> For the first ten people that use the promo code SS clone. SS clone. I'll put it right here in the screen. The way it's on the screen, you're gonna use it right there. You're gonna be getting a 20% off discount code on anything you get from the website. For those of you guys that support us and watch the whole video all the way to the end, we're gonna be randomly doing this throughout all the rest of the video so you guys can make sure you stick around, watch the video, get the promo codes. SS clone is the promo code. 20% off the whole order, doesn't matter what you get. Only valid for the first 10 people, so make sure you act fast. Shop on anthrocanal.com.